Hello everyone. I'm here to make my video. I can't believe what has happened in the Gambia. Let me just try to collect my thoughts because I saw a video today. Uh, a YouTuber by the name of Travel with Tay Tay. And in the video, she... Oh my God. I can't believe it. She stated that her home had been burglarized. Burglarized while she was in it asleep. And I'm like, what? And in the background, you can hear dogs bark. And I'm like, what? Uh, she was crying. She was sobbing. She was wailing, weeping and wailing, sobbing over some electronics. And I'm like, well, you can get electronics back. I have some, I, I have electronics in dresser drawers around here. You know what I'm saying? I have so many. I have so much stuff that I don't even know I have it. Someone says, look, look, you know, look around your house. You, you may have it in there. I, I have a lot of stuff in here, I don't, and I don't use it. But it really just stuck out to me. And it's still bothering up. It's like 2 a.m. in the morning here, and I'm like, wait a minute. How she slept through that? Was she drunk? Well, anyway, let me get to the story. So they entered through burglar bars, as if burglar bars were supposed to protect you. If somebody won't get in your house, they're gonna get in there. Okay. So, which was which reminds me that I need to uh, update my information on the constitution to carry. You know as see if I'm eligible to do that because I'm telling you, that video has scared the bejesus out of me, honey. So, I mean, if you upstairs asleep in your bed, mind your own business, and all of a sudden you wake up and the burglar bars is gone off the window. The window's still open. Curtain hanging halfway out the window. And everything that you own and have is gone? Oh, I got a lot of questions. So I'm thinking to myself, did the person that robbed her, did they know her? Did they know what she had in her house? Was she advertising or have they been there before? Because these were some heavy looking burglar bars. I'm talking about tra travel with Tay Tay. Oh, YouTube, she's a YouTuber. And she's talking about she got robbed in Gambia. And the thing about it is, they get on here and brag about, oh, it's so peaceful. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's a better life than America. Oh, look what y'all going through over there. Hey, baby. Sugar mama. That right there scared me. When you both look to snatch burglar balls out this concrete, you didn't hear them. Well, that must have been a monster. Just came and snatched the burglar balls off the wall. And you can see the hole where they moved it. Set it to the side, went in. And you didn't hear the dogs? The dogs didn't even let you know somebody was out there. But you can clearly hear dogs barking in the video that she made. Uh-uh. What kind of sleep were you under? I don't know. I don't know. But they brag about, 
home so peaceful. And we ain't got to worry about this. And we ain't got to worry about that. Honey, hunty. Look, I'm over here. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. For, I'm up here pushing on the windows to see if the windows still intact over here. Or where the burglar bars are already removed. And she never went in and checked them up. I pushed on them, uh, uh, make sure they were secure before she went to bed. <sighs> this is too much. Too much. I'm so scared. I don't know why I'm scared for her. I'm way over here, baby. I ain't worried about nothing. It ain't, that ain't for me. It ain't just them. But then you move to a country where the laws are not as enforced or as stern as the laws in the West. She says she's moving. She never coming back. I don't blame you. I would have never went in the first place. I'm, I'm just going to tell you. I mean, hey, I watched Roots. I watched all the series of Roots, and I paid attention to the details in that movie. When Kunta Kente was becoming a man, we're talking about the roots from the movie um, or the book written and written by uh, Alex Haley. Kunta Kente said, well, I'm going to just get into this, the scenario. Okay. Kunta Kente was becoming a man. He had to go in the woods and catch a guinea hen and a chicken and bring it back to prove that he was a man and he could take care of himself. So he was setting up the traps. And he had the chicken, but the monkey gave him a signal. The monkeys in the trees, they shook the trees and let them know something was coming. That's because he was in tune with nature. Nature and the natural order of things let him know something was coming and they had to take cover, hide. But as he was hiding, the chicken got loose. And the white man turned around with his rifle. Kunta got away that time. But he made it back to his tribe or his village. And he told his chief, hey, I saw the white man two days walk from here. And he had Africans in chains and Africans was helping him. Africans was helping the white man put Africans in chain. Okay. That's all I need to know. Thank you, Alice Haley. Thank you. And they were marching them all the way to the Gabriel. So they could put them on them ships and ship them off to be sold. So you mean tell me all y'all gonna jump y'all ass up. Um, excuse my language. Y'all gonna jump y'all motherfucking ass up and go, oh, I'm free, I'm free. Huh? Say what? Come again? Say what? You free. Okay. I watched another video today. Um, Miss Cynthia from AKA SJM, Sweet Juicy Mama. She came on there today, and she said her envoy, her truck was down again. She just got it out six days ago. What's wrong with the What's wrong with the truck now, Miss Cent? Oh, spitting out the engine. It looked like transmission fluid. Okay. You just got it out. You paid all this money. And something she said, just she said, I'm ready to go home. And it was like she was frustrated. She was mad. And she was really ready to go. And I heard the urgency in her voice. And I said, like, hey, it's time for me to say something. It may, may, may not mean nothing to nobody. That's what it, it, no. Everybody's making videos about it. Africans being robbed in the Gambia. This African got robbed. 
This one got her phone snatched. This one got burger balls pulled out while she was asleep. Went in and took her stuff. Just easy. Just don't care nothing about you being upstairs in the house. Nothing. Just go get what they want. Get on out the window. This one got scammed by uh, an undercover police officer. It's, they they are all under all over. All you have to do is say, all you have to do is type in Africans robbed in the Gambia, and you're gonna see all the videos and all the stories of people believing that they're that gullible to believe that life is better or the grass is greener, and it's not. You won't be influencing me to go, no, because I remember what Kunta Kinte said. And look at, I was a little girl when Kunta Kinte movie came out. I had been by seven, eight, nine. When the Kunta Kinte movie came out, I'm in my 50s. You know, I remember that. He said two days walk from him. I saw the white man. With Africans in chains, and Africans was helping the white man. That's all I got. I remember that. And my grandmama, see, she had a way of making you remember some shit. She'll, she'll do a, mm, amen, or something like that. It was the way she, the way she, you know, made you pay attention to what somebody said. She'd be, uh. Uh-huh. She'll say something like that. And as a little girl, I understood. That's something that very important that I need to remember. Hmm. Huh. She'll say something. Hmm. Or she'll move her lips a certain way. She'll make a sound like. Hmm. She used to say stuff. Then, hey, that is important. For you to remember. And I was a little girl. I still remember that. So you going to tell me? You think you going to influence me? A single black woman. To pack up the little two, two little outfits I got. Because I ain't got nothing. And pack up my whole life. And go over there. To a country. I don't know nothing about. I don't know the language. I don't know geography. I don't know nothing. I'm sure I can find it out. I don't want to. We, we just going to have to go down with the ship over here, baby. We going down with the ship. I don't care how organic the food is, baby. Kunta Kente said he saw the white man two days walk from him. And he saw Africans helping the white man. That's all I need. That's, that's it. That's it. Amen, church. Amen. That's it for me. That was a warning. Way back from the 70s. I remember that. And if you had time in your life, go look that up. Don't be so smile. You know they say smiling faces have black hearts. Uh-uh, you can't influence me to go nowhere. I don't not even make it up. Uh, get you an escape plan. You gonna need an escape plan to have And get your escape plan to sell or any city. I don't want it, man. Cause Coon Kente said two days walk from him, he saw the white man. And the white man had Africans helping him. Catch Africans. Okay. I might not say it exactly how I said, but you can look it up or go get the movie and watch it again. These women crying. It's woman after women after women after women. <laughs> Another young lady I saw, um, she was in Texas. I can't remember her name. She was in Tanzania. And an African man told her, I forget her name. He said, a slave in one country is a slave in another. Hey, I ain't, been, I ain't finna go way over yonder. 15,000, 14,000 miles away, 12,000 miles, 10,000 miles away. 
however many miles away for me to know that. I know what it is and what it isn't. So I don't need nobody telling me. My heart ain't got to get broke. If you want to know your roots, you better you better find your roots right here. Your root story, right? Because you got ancestors right here on this land. I won't know what changed because I remember they had a, a place where somewhere on that coast that we're supposed where they had a statue that says the place of no return. You can't come back through this gate once you go through this gate. Now what happened here? I ain't going. I remember that I remember these things. Don't don't try to entice me to go nowhere. I don't believe it's over. They being robbed left and right. They scamming. I don't know what else. I don't even know what they did. But that video I saw by traveling with Tay Tay, traveling with Tay Tay, uh uh, that moved something in me to make this video. I'm about to go to sleep, but I just I, I'm still checking my window. Putting sticks on the window. I got a glass by the window. If you, if you open the window, glass fall. All that type of shit. I that, that type of shit I'm doing. It, this is what this has done to me. Looking at that video. Shit. God damn it. Throw some powder on the floor. Do you see the footsteps? Sup? I don't know what the hell going on around here. Shit. You got to be bold as hell. And whoever it was, and then whoever it was that broke in the trail of Tay Tay's house had to know her or had to been watching her. You hear me? Two days woke. Hmm. You think you're going to go over there and y'all run your mouth? I just came to this island. No, that ain't. No, that ain't, baby. I heard a little baby tell me, Cynthia, no, you ain't gambling. You black American. Okay? The little babies know. Good. Y'all, I don't know what y'all going to do. I pray for you over there. Because I don't think it's over. I think it's a, a rude awakening about to happen for a lot of black Americans over there. I really feel it in my soul. It gives me pause. It ain't no better. It ain't no better. Baby, there's people swimming right now. Hell, I'll take my chance. I'll, I'll swim across this ocean. Give me a inner tube, something, to come to a land where they can get an opportunity to have a better life. Mm. It's better to be grateful than regretful. Be grateful for what you have. Honey, stand on something or you'll fall for anything. And that, with that, I'm going to end this video because, I, like I said, I, it is disturbing to me. I don't want to get off into it anymore. I'm going to pray, ask God for protection of my home as I fall into sleep. That I'm protected. Pray that he send his grace and mercy while I lay down and rest my head with these and rob. And they out there, they everywhere. They're, oh, Oh, it's just crime, crime, and no, that is horrible. And what they doing to Miss Cynthia, honey, I wish I had enough money to buy her car and ship it over there, a good, reliable car. Because that's just hard. You just take your car and more money, more money, more money. That's, that's robbery right there. That's highway robbery. Just pull your car off the highway and just rob you. Every time you turn around, you degenerate going going. Baby, come on.
what you spent on paying them, you could have been bought you a brand new generator and a car. Paying them. And they sit back grinning and laughing. Mm -hmm. Just remember that two days walk. Remember that. Let that marinate in your spirit. As uh, Country Wayne say, let that marinate in your spirit. Two days walk. He saw Africans helping white men. Better ask somebody. No, you can't never influence. I don't give a damn. If gold falls out the sky, I'm not going. Not me. And I sit here in my job. Everybody in there, everybody in my job right here in America is from Nigeria. I don't give a damn what part of the job. They get in the kitchen, they housekeeping, laundry, nurses galore. Nurses, this kind of nurse, that kind of nurse. Honey, and you going to tell me I need to pack up my bags and move over there? The devil is a liar. Y'all be good. Shake your neighbor's hand. And y'all get together over there and y'all may help each other. Stay together. Baby, because I believe you don't fail for anything. That's just my opinion. Like I said, I'm scared for you, baby, and I'm praying for you. I don't blame you. I wouldn't go back either. I wouldn't live. But you got a chance to see the world. You got a chance to see something different. Experience something different. <laughs> Y'all be blessed.